You can take an entire course including topics in this video through our website and get a certificate of completion from RASOF, the online educational radio frequency institute located in Irwan, California. Instructions and coupon for taking this course is provided at the end of this video. In this section we are going to discuss linearity briefly, uh, but uh, for those who want to learn in details, we have a course in the course RF Design Theory and Principles, RAH RF201 in section 3, we are explaining linearity in details and with different kind of examples. We are uh, we will talk about the uh, conversion point, desensitization, and intermodulation. So if you're interested, you can take this course and you will learn everything about the linearity. So uh, let's talk about linearity. Uh, it's a property of mathematical relationship or function in which means that it can be graphically represented as a straight line. So as you see here, imagine that we have a system and uh, there's a processing here amplification it can be for example an amplifier so let's say this is amplifier and uh, we know that we have input and output how can we say this system is linear if we show the relationship between output and input like this we can say that our system is linear as you see we say the graphically represented as a straight line so uh, if this is our input and this is output, we can show the relationship with the straight line. So I see, as you see here, we can show it like uh, y equal to a times x. And that's why we say this system, if we can show it like this, this system is linear. And this a is a coefficient and it's constant. So uh, if you draw the relationship between x and y, you can uh, show with line and then the slope of this line here, the slope is equal to a. And for example, we can show it like this, like blue one here, the slope is uh, lower. For example, for this one, we can say y is equal to b times x. This is also linear. So we always want to, uh, actually, we always expect uh, to have this kind of uh, output in our systems, in our op amp, for a mixer, uh, but uh, actually in re real world it's, it's a bit hard and challenging to have the linear system. Uh, no matter how much we try, we always have non-linearity in our system. We can show an example uh, for a linear system. It can be a voltage and current across a, a resistor. So imagine that we have a, a system like this, and this is a voltage here. So uh, this, is a, this is our resistor. Let's say it's a ground and uh, this is our current so voltage and current and uh, we have a resistor here so this is a linear system and we can say here v is equal to r times i and as you see this is our y and this is our a the coefficient times and this is our x the input of our system so we say if this resistor is a system uh, this is uh, it's, it's linear but uh, there's a point here uh, that's why we say for example yeah uh, it's not true in real world why because because this resistance as you see it may change with uh, temperature and uh, that's why we say yeah this a is not constant so that's why um, if 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 we have temperature variations this system will become nonlinear. So this is one of the reasons that we, we can have a nonlinear system. It's a very good example. So uh, let's talk about amplifier because that's the purpose of uh, this course. So imagine that we have amplifier and this amplifier is linear and perfect. So what kind of thing we have at the uh, input and output? We have input, we have gain. So this A is gain here. So uh, we always expect something like this. We have, let's say we have, for example, one millivolt here, and then our A is a constant, and let's say the gain is equal to 10. So at the output, we will have a 10 millivolt. And this gain won't change. It doesn't matter. If we increase this to 100 millivolt, for example, 100 millivolt, this will become uh, a 1,000 millivolt or a uh, 1 volt. So this is a perfect system. This is linear amplifier and gain never changes and it's linear so we can show it uh, show it like this y is equal to a times x a is gain x is input and y is output so it's exactly like this and we can show the relationship with a straight line and we say the system is linear but let's see what is uh, happening uh, in the real world of if we have a nonlinear amplifier so here um, in additional to this 
term here at the uh, output, we will have extra terms here, as you see. And now we will have b times x2, we have c times x3. And this is the output of nonlinear amplifier. We always want to get rid of these terms here, as you see. But because our, uh, our amplifier is nonlinear, uh, we will have a bit, uh, we will have a b and c. So the goal in design is always to have b is equal to 0, c is equal to 0. Why we don't show the rest? Because as we increase these terms, as we go to higher orders, it will become uh, negligible, so we can ignore them, we can neglect them comparing to these uh, uh, two terms. So that's why we always consider one, two, three, three terms. So this one is our gain, but these are, actually this is the linear part of our amplifier, but this is the these are the two terms that cause non-linearity for us. So here, uh, as a summary, we say if we have an input of, and if we have output which is equal to uh, y, so the output is like this, a times x, b times x squared, and c times x cubed, and generally c is negative, this uh, coefficient is negative. So let's see now what kind of behavior, what kind of relationship we had at the output of this amplifier. As you see, it's like this, so we expect the straight line, but in London linear amplifier, we will have something like this, as you see. So actually, uh, this will cause us problem. Uh, we will explain in our actually uh, future course that this is called the compression. As you see, it's compressing the gain. Uh, here, the gain is decreasing. This is one of the problems. It means that for a nonlinear amplifier, if you increase the input, after a certain point, the gain will decrease. So here, let's say what is happening. If, imagine that we are uh, in this linear region. Why this region is linear? Because uh, the linear and nonlinear uh, amplifier has the same response. Why? As you see, we have a x cube and a x squared and x cube here. So in this part, we have actually lower input. The input is low. So if the input is lower, uh, we have two terms of x squared and x cube, and these values will uh, become really uh, small. They're, they're actually, they have a really low value compared to ax. So that's why in this case, we say if we have a low x, if we say that x is really low value, we can say, okay, our, our amplifier is uh, linear because we can ignore this. So we can write a times x. But as we increase x, this time these values are increasing. And now this, uh, we can't ignore them, so we have to uh, consider them in our equation. And that's why, because C also has a negative uh, uh, coefficient, negative sign, we will see that our gain here, as you see, our gain will decrease this time. Our gain is lower than the linear amplifier gain. So this is one of the problems that we face in nonlinear systems. Another problem is that let's, let's check the uh, f frequency domain. So imagine that we have a linear amplifier. And if we have an input, let's say our input is cosine omega 1 t, so this is a, the input uh, spectrum, it's a delta and f1. What we will have at the output is a times x, it means that a times cosine omega 1 t. So we will have one component at the output in the same frequency and we actually we amplified it. So this is the response of linear amplifier. Let's see what kind of response we have for nonlinear amplifier. Here, if you see that we, if we replace this cosine omega 1 t, we will produce different kind of terms, f1, f2, f3. Uh, at the output, we will have uh, different frequencies that we call them harmonics. So here, at the output, we will have omega 1 component, 2 omega 1 component, 3 omega 1 component. But at the input, as you see, we have only one component. So we call this harmonics, and it will cause problem, because our system this time, uh, they're producing the uh, harmonics and noise for, our, uh, for other systems. We have extra components and uh, here so that's the problem in uh, uh, there's a problem with nonlinear amplifier we can see in frequency domain we always want to get a single frequency output but we are getting different kind of uh, actually we are getting extra components which is a uh, which is a problem and here's a very uh, good example shows the uh, compression uh, in nonlinear systems so I actually made up this equation and uh, I, I just uh, drew an axis here for two different equations. The first one is linear, as you see. So it's y equal uh, 5 times x. This is a linear system. So as you see, this system is a straight line and with a slope of 5. 
and uh, let's see what uh, what we have in compression let's see something like this and here as you see this is the nonlinear part of our amplifier so uh, the b is uh, 0 0.5 and the c is minus 0 0.25 so this is our c and it's negative so as you see up to this point this is a linear region and our x is uh, actually let's say our x is less than two here it doesn't matter both systems are okay but after two as you see these uh, curves are getting uh, apart from each other and at this point as you see the instead of increasing it will decrease that's a very interesting point uh, we call this point compression as you see it starts compressing it it won't increase it means that if we increase our x we expect that the output will increase but it doesn't happen because we have a non-linear parts here we have extra terms here so as you see even if we increase uh, our input more than certain value, we will get uh, the negative gain and like it, 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 the output will decrease. So that's the problem uh, in actually we face in designing radio frequency systems. So uh, it depends on our application and we always want to uh, decrease, we always want to eliminate this nonlinearity problem in uh, our our blocks, different kind of block. It can be mixer, it can be a power amplifier or low noise amplifier. In this kind of system, we always want to achieve a, a linear system. It means that we always want to um, suppress these two terms. We want to get rid of B and C in our equations. And in uh, nonlinearity problems, we will have a gain compression, intermodulation, desensitization. And uh, as I mentioned previously, we have a course we explained about uh, these actually concepts. If you're interested, you can take the course and uh, learn about these things. Hey guys, thank you for watching the entire video. I'm going to provide you with a coupon for taking RF Fundamental Basic Concepts and Components, RA RF101. So you can uh, get this course from our website. If you go to the page, you just have to select the buy this course and register here. As you see, if you're not registered up to now. So you need your username, email, password, and also you have to answer a security question. And then you can uh, press the uh, register button, uh, press the sign up button, and uh, you will be able to uh, register in our website. Then after that, all you need to uh, do is going to the, the course landing page and uh, go to check out. And as you see, click to enter your code. You can put the, the coupon code here and then apply the coupon. So then you will have this course for free and you can uh, take this course. As you see, you won't pay anything for this course. Rasoft has one of the most complete online certificate in radio frequency available which covers practical topics needed to be a knowledgeable RF engineer. Since all courses are consulted closely by design engineers and pioneers whom have worked as RF engineers in top RF companies such as Qualcomm, Broadcom, Skyworks, Intel and Apple as well as avionic companies. It covers the necessary information to land a job or successful in your career. Your first step to take the prerequisite course, RAH RF101, which we have provided the free coupon for it, RFPREREQ101. See you there shortly.